Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, where we dive into the latest in music industry news and controversies. Today, we're tackling a serious topic that's been making headlines, Joe Budden's controversial comments on domestic violence. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. So Joe Budden, known for his strong opinions and fiery personality, recently stirred the pot on the Bag Fuel podcast. This time, it wasn't about music or industry beefs, but something far more serious. Domestic violence. Let's break down what he said and the reactions it sparked. First, Budden talked about the double standards men face when subjected to domestic violence in relationships. He shared his own experiences, like when an ex threatened to burn his clothes over a text message. According to him, many men don't realize that such actions constitute domestic violence. I was in a domestic, <laughs> a domestic, that's, that's bi- a domestic violence relationship, but we men, so we don't know that. Mm-hmm. We don't know that mm-hmm. if somebody just get up and start, hey, I didn't like, hey, you got a text I didn't like, I'm burning all your clothes. That's domestic violence. Yup. <laughs> yup. So when I attempt to stop you from burning my clothes and I hurt your wrist by mistake <laughs> and you back. say, oh, sh-, it's like, now you got, it's something new to defend. But what we don't know as men is, is we getting abused yeah. all the time. And it's and not really a sh- place to have an oh. I had an incident one time where me and a lady broke up and I took the phone back that I bought and was actively paying the bill on charges. Charges brought up. <laughs> so you stole the phone. There you go. Yeah. I like didn't know. I didn't know that. Grand larceny. I learned. You just that. gotta cut it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that you can't take the phone. I you gotta learned, cut it off. But yeah. I didn't know that. So that's that was a lesson. It's like, oh, okay. If there's a dispute, you can't touch the phone, even if you bought it or got it. I've been in another instance where you have to leave your house. Yeah. Yes. Which it's is your just, house. It's your house. You pay the bills. You pay the bills. You pay the rent. You paying her bills, dude. Yeah, yeah. But you have to But you out. have to go. And that's a tough lesson for black men. And if you've been in that enough, you learn the best way to keep yourself safe is to leave. I was in a domestic violence relationship. But we men, so we don't know that. We don't know that if somebody just gets up and starts saying, hey, you got a text I didn't like. I'm burning all your clothes. That's domestic violence. Budden also recounted incidents where he had to leave his own home or face legal trouble for taking back a phone he paid for. These stories highlighted how men can be victims too, but they're often unaware or unable to recognize the signs. Secondly, Budden received a lot of backlash online. Given his own alleged history of domestic violence, Many found his comments hypocritical. Critics on social media were quick to point out his past, with some even bringing up disturbing allegations from his ex-girlfriend, Tahiri Jose. Comments ranged from disbelief to outright anger. One user said, It's incredibly difficult to listen to a man with a history of violence against women talk about reactive abuse. Another recalled how Budden's ex, Esther Baxter, accused him of causing her miscarriage during a violent altercation. Button defended himself, denying the allegations and calling his ex a liar. He claimed she had been manipulating men and lying about him for years. This only fueled more controversy, with people debating the validity of his claims versus the accusations against him. Lastly, the discussion sparked a wider conversation about how society views male victims of domestic violence and the importance of recognizing and addressing their experiences. Budden, comments, despite the backlash, brought attention to a rarely discussed issue. So what's your take on Joe Budden's comments? Do you think he brought up a valid point or is his past too problematic for him to be the right messenger? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more updates from the Red Carpet Reup. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.